to hear from Mark and Dick Gregory. Paulie wants to say some introductory words and then we're gonna eat. Thank you all so much for being here. I am, like today I was texting, nervous, excited, nervous, excited, nervous, excited. Um, but it's, I guess in the end, those two emotions are, are pretty much the same. Um, but I have been, this has been a labor of love. I think I, I've been following him around uh, through eight or nine states for over eight years. Um, he, he says that I now know more about his life than he does. Um, and this is, you know, going through all of this time and the edits and the spending of time with the man and all this, it's really an incredible thing to, for you guys to be seeing it. No one's seeing it except for, you know, the people who've been working on it. And we're all really proud of it. It's, I've been saying all day today, today is about, not about the movie, it's about the man. And he's here. So I just, it's such a blessing that he's actually here and that Dick's here. And this is, a, this is a, just a, story of this man's life. I am humbled and honored that you're all here. And uh, I would say, I'll make sure everybody gives Mark a big kiss afterwards. Because uh, he deserves it. <laughs> Enjoy. OK, let it roll. Mark, <laughs> the FBI and J. Edgar Hoover said, Oswald Act alone, there was no conspiracy. And all of the news media supported that. There was no conspiracy. I've earned all of the friends I have in the world. Bertrand Russell, Eleanor Roosevelt, Dick Gregory, just as an example of them. But more than that, I've earned every one of my enemies, every one of them, and I'm proud of that. And my brother, Lawrence Lane, who was a high school teacher all of his life, uh, has always been my role model. Two years older than I am, to the day, same birthday, my father was an accountant, and, uh, uh, and my sister Anne, who you saw there, both of them have passed now, but uh, they're in my heart, along with Giselle and Squash, who you saw there. <laughs> the problem with the dogs there and cats is they don't live as long as we do. I thank you all for coming, and. Love of my life, Paulie. <laughs> and everybody else. I already did this, so I'll be brief, but thank you guys so much. It's been such a, and you know, it's been such a journey for us, but then also, like, personally, with us, that happened. We started this when he had Giselle, the dog, and Squash, the cat, and his unbelievable sister, Ann Lynn, God bless you, honey, in the movie. She's unbelievable. And I was traveling cross country in a station wagon with little Joe and Cece, my dogs, <laughs> the two of them. So we, and we lost all of them in the course of this. So part, this is a testament to Mark, but for us, it's also a testament to our little fuzzy faces and your amazing sister that we've lost in the course of filming. And for everyone that's in the film, where's the, uh, where's the Sue? That's Sue, y'all, right there in the blue shirt. <laughs> I'm just yeah. very, very happy to have been associated with Mark and to be able to participate in all of these historic, wonderful uh, turns of events. And, um, uh, you know, the film speaks for itself. Paulie did a great job. I'm looking at this and think this shit happens every day. Every day. We just don't have people like him. And you're very lucky because most of the heroes of America, America don't even know about, at least you lived long enough to see a movie and you can say if it was right or wrong. They used to do a movie 100 years after you did him other bunch of bullshit. Thanks, you guys. There's food. I want every, I don't know how to do it yet, but we're going to make sure everybody sees this film. Right, Mark? Well, this is wonderful. It's a, it's a fabulous thing that Polly made this terrific film about a man who has been criticized, humiliated, beaten down, and never stops 
praying, working, digging deep to make sure that we, people of America, continue to live, not only give a lip service to, but live the values that this country is supposed to be about. So I'm thrilled to see the film. I'm thrilled to see Mark again. Uh, he and I uh, got together first around the assassination of JFK many, many years ago, and I've watched him and applauded him ever since. And to see this film put together is a really extraordinary accomplishment, both on Paulie's part and an accomplishment for the people of America to get to see this man and see what he's done and see what he's actually stood for. So thanks. What's in the life of just one? What in me? I just saw the documentary on Mark Lane, which I thought was really brilliant. Moving and accurate and prescient. Uh, it's amazing to me that we're still going through this. The, the events that Mark was involved with, you know, I, as an activist, I remember when I, where I was when Kennedy was killed. I went out with this Free Southern Theater. I worked for the Black Panthers. I was arrested in Washington when we closed it down against the war. And I was all on the periphery of the events that he was absolutely central to. And it's extraordinary that these things keep on coming up. And somebody said to me after the screening, where is our Mark Lane now? So I, I urge everybody to see this documentary and to pay attention because what happened then is happening now and will continue to happen until people stand up like Mark Lane.